Of course, one of the lessons of Sandy, we found out here in New York, mm -hmm. tunnels need to be really watertight. Now, in Miami, hurricane country, tunnel builders are working on a next-generation hurricane-proof tunnel. The Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff is there with us this morning. Good morning from Miami Beach, where for more than a century, ships have made it from the city to the sea by using this giant channel beside me. It's called Government Cut. Now, this is 40 feet deep, all seawater. For the first time ever, there is now a highway running below. Miami's highway under the sea is already halfway done. Eventually, tourists heading to cruise ships and truckers carrying cargo out of Florida will use this billion dollar tunnel instead of packed city streets. It's North America's largest board tunnel. That means it's drilled with a bit. Yeah, it's drilled with a tunnel boring machine. It's uh, four stories high. Take a ride through the just finished side. Here we are. And Tunnel Vice President Chris Hodgkins will show you that drill. That's called the cutter head. Can you get that? Are you getting that? 152,000 pounds of pressure slowly pushes that drill into the hard coral stone below the ocean liners. For all we know right now, in that salt water, uh, 40 feet above us, uh, could be a cruise ship. But this is Miami, where hurricanes tend to push the ocean into tunnels. Now, we all remember what happened to some of the tunnels in New York City during Sandy. To prevent the same thing from happening down here, Miami Access Tunnel managers have asked their next-door neighbors, the U.S. Coast Guard, to sound the hurricane alarm for them. And if they're going to go uh, to uh, hurricane level three, then usually we get a 48-hour warning. When that happens, automatically a giant metal gate will push down and water seal the front side of the tunnel. Another one will happen in the back side. No storm surge can get in the tunnel and nobody will be hurt. Uh, the folks that are building this are the same folks that built the tunnel. Year and a half from now, the first cars will pass underneath the cruise ships right in the middle of hurricane season. Remember, that's 40 feet of seawater on top of all that traffic. They tell me that they have built this to be seawater tight for decades to come. On Miami Beach, I'm Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. That is pretty cool. That is awesome, and I love the graphics. Yeah, he, do, really he does cool. a really great job. Coming up, we're going to check in with winter weather expert Tom Nizzle for the winter weather update. And find out who can see lake effect snow today and into the weekend. That's coming up after your local on the 8s.